Hello, and welcome to the first episode of the Mind Blowing Universe. Episode 1, We Are Puny. And the purpose of this video is to show how we and things we, you, you, we usually would think are huge are actually teeny and weeny. Okay, let's start with something our brains can comprehend. This is your average show here, who is 2 meters or 6 feet. If you multiply them by 10, then you get an 18 wheeler or a 20 meter truck. And if you multiply that by 10, you get a 60 story skyscraper. But it's something we can still comprehend. It's not too mind blowing yet. And if you multiply that by 10, we get about this roughly the size of the Golden Gate Bridge, which is over a mile. But it's still something we can comprehend. And if we multiply that by 10, we get about roughly the size of San, San Francisco. Which is roughly 10 miles. But as you can see, this is the actual Golden Gate Bridge over here. And if you multiply San Francisco by 10, you get San Francisco Bay. And I actually managed to fit this picture in here. And it actually fits up perfectly. And it would be about 100 miles. And then you multiply San Francisco Bay by 10. You would get a, a huge chunk of USA. You have California here and you have part of Mexico here. And this is actually a huge distance. It's about a thousand miles. But I think it's still comprehensible for our brains. Now, if we times that by 10, you get the diameter of the Earth, which is about 10,000 miles. And as you can see, I've actually tried to fit this in North America, and it does fit. Let's just go back and see that the diameter of the Earth is that is equal to 10 million average Joes and that's pretty huge but when you compare it to Jupiter it's got nothing on the largest planet in the solar system literally 10 times the Earth's diameter is equal to the diameter of Jupiter literally I mean this Earth would actually fit in Jupiter's red spot and that's actually pretty scary when you think about it. And if you remember that big chunk of USA right here, it's actually this small. This small compared to Jupiter. And then you see Jupiter compared to the Sun. J uh, Jupiter's diameter times 10 is equal to the Sun. Sun's diameter. And Earth is right here. Earth would be that small if it were to come, if it were to be compared to the uh, sun. Literally, the Earth can fit inside one of the sun's solar flares, and that's to be to be honest, that's actually pretty scary. But luckily, we won't have to worry about that ever happening because the sun's diameter times a hundred is equal to the distance between the sun and the Earth. And I drew the sun this small, so the distance would be this long. But if this were to scale, you wouldn't even be able to see the Earth. And I'm not joking. The <clears throat> the distance between the sun and the Earth, it's about 100 million miles. But that's nothing. The distance between the sun and the Earth it, times 200,000 is equal to the distance between the Earth and the nearest star, which is Alpha Centauri A. And the distance is actually four, roughly four light years. It's actually 4.2 light years, but uh, simplest form, it's four light years. And one light year is equal to the distance light can travel in one year. And light's pretty fast, so it can travel a lot in just one year. So, theoretically, it'll take us four years to get to the nearest star uh, if we were going at the speed of light, which we aren't any close to doing that any soon. Okay, now we're getting to the size of galaxies, literally a galaxy, 
<clears throat> and I'm not talking about the Samsung Galaxy. I'm talking about actual galactic galaxies. And the distance between the Earth and the nearest star times 25,000 is equal to the diameter of of um, the Milky Way galaxy, which is about 100,000 light years. And that's a huge distance. Light, light is so fast that it can go around the world seven times in just one second. And it would take it a hundred thousand years to to travel across the diameter of the Milky Way galaxy. Okay, let's take a break from these huge distances. We all know the Hubble Space Telescope. Yep. Yeah. And in 1995, there was this black spot near the Big Dipper, and it was pretty risky, but. The uh, scientists of NASA actually sent it there, and this was the exact photograph that it captured. Pretty amazing. Lots and lots of galaxies. And, and then you remember that the diameter of one of these galaxies is only a hundred thousand light years. Only that's all. Oh, that's all. And this picture that the Hubble Space Telescope captured is actually a pretty small um, part of the universe because if you went outside in the night and you held a pen up um, from arm's length and you looked at the tip of the pen that's how much of the that's that's, that's the part of the universe that the Hubble Space Telescope captured that much and the whole night sky only that much that's about that's huge! So many galaxies! And each galaxy is huge! And now you know the unimaginable, unappreciable. Is that even word unappreciable? Eh, it doesn't matter. Well, now you know the unimaginable size of the universe. We'll start talking about the age of the universe. The universe is about 13.5 billion years old. But just to make it comprehensible, I'll put it, I'll scale it down to 13 years. And it all started with the Big Bang. No, not the TV show, The Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang, where everything came out of nothing. Where everything in the universe was created. Nothing was before that. Literally everything we know was created from the Big Bang. And that was about 13 years ago. 12 years ago, the first stars and galaxies formed. And about 4.5 or 4.5 years ago, the Earth had started forming. 4 years ago, the first ever life uh, formed on planet Earth. The, and that was single-celled organisms. About six months ago, the dinosaurs arrived. Three weeks ago, the dinosaurs uh, went extinct. Three days ago, chimpanzees and their last shared ancestors split their ways. Sixteen minutes ago, humans started migrating. Five minutes ago, we invented agriculture. The ancient Egyptians were about three minutes ago. The plague was 24 seconds ago. The Industrial Revolution was six seconds ago. The World War One two seconds ago. Everything since then has happened in the last second. The Big Mac, the first man on the moon, the iPhone, and even your birth all happened in the last second. And now, you might just have more respect for the mind-blowing universe.